Today we're going to take a look at three pairs of shoes that I own, go through the specifications and my comments upon them. The shoe on the far left is the Nike Free 5.0, weighing in somewhere around 8.9 ounces with an 8 millimeter drop. Sells for $100 retail, you can get it for less. The shoe in the middle was the Nike Pegasus 31 comes in at 10.1 ounces 14 millimeter drop again also 100 bucks retail you can get it for less online the last shoe is the Hoka Clifton coming in at an amazing 7.7 .7 ounces with a 6 millimeter drop retails for 130 I don't think you can really get it for any less than that now the shoe on the far left is the Nike Free 5.0 when I first started running about three years ago, that was my shoe. I've had about maybe five pairs of them. And I like them, but after about 10 miles, whether it's on the trail or the road, um, my feet would start to hurt a little bit, and I think the next day I'd be a little bit more sore than I needed to be. It's a bit of a minimalist shoe. Um, it's not pure minimalist, but... Uh, that's the whole concept behind that shoe. After a while, I started getting tired of getting beat up, so I moved over to the Pegasus 31. Uh, it's a bit of a beefier shoe. It feels, uh, after running in the freeze for so long, uh, very clunky. Um, the freeze just feels straight up fast. Um, the Pegasus, though, is a lot more comfortable for me. I wasn't feeling uh, beat up after I'd run 10 plus miles and the next day um, my legs felt better. The other thing too that I like about the um, the Pegasus is if you look at the uh, underside, this shoe I bought maybe in September, I'm not exactly sure, but it's got about 400 miles on it. Look at the, the tread, it's barely worn in the back. It's unbelievable. Now if you look at the, I don't want to pull them out, but if you looked at my Nike Wild Horse and my Nike Tiger, those shoes just get um, beat up pretty quickly, two, three hundred miles, and the bottoms are, are already toast. I have a question for Nike, which is, can't you just stick the, the sole of the, or the tread pattern of the Pegasus on the Wild Horse or the Tiger? And I've got a pair of Tigers that after 200 miles, um, you can poke a stick through the bottom of the shoe and hit your toe. So, and then the Hoka's I just bought um, tonight uh, at REI. And the interesting thing about the Hoka is I bought a 10. And this, both of the shoes on your uh, left, both Nikes, are 10 and a half. And I was a bit concerned about buying a 10, but when I was at the store, I actually had my freeze and if you look at this um, let's see if I can get that a little better you can pretty much see that the Hoka even though it's a 10 um, is it's actually larger I know this, this picture isn't doing it justice but the um, Hoka is actually the 10 in the Hoka is larger than the Nike uh, 10 and a half so I was a bit concerned when I was purchasing the shoe about how that was going to work out but the thing with both of these shoes is when I bought the Nike Free my toes felt like they were sort of rubbing against the top of the shoe and that lasted all of about one run in the Nike Free and then um, that problem went away it felt the exact same way in the Hoka's so I'm assuming that's just going to loosen up a little bit as I run but I mean I can stick a finger down the the uh, heel in between my my heel and the back of the shoe and it it's always that's always a sign for me that uh, one finger or less is the shoe fits and you've got plenty of room so we'll see how they work out but um, sort of to have an understanding of one shoe I think you have to look at some other shoes so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a middle ground between the Nike free and the Nike Pegasus 31 and I think the Hoka Clifton uh, is perhaps that middle ground. It's going to give me 
a lot of comfort that the free doesn't but it's not going to be clunky like the Pegasus and it's actually going to weigh less than both of them so uh, wish me luck and I, I hope this shoe is going to work out and this is a road shoe this is a Hoka road shoe it's not a it's not for the trail I might run it on the trail but it's it's designed for the road well this is John Frere for Runners on Running see you next time